Jones. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Another year, new laptops, new CPUs. I recently bought the Yoga Pro 9i, featuring a Intel CPU instead of AMD, which was the preferred CPU for me last year when I bought the Yoga Slim 7 Pro X. It was a tough decision going with Intel, or rather trying Intel, because I have a strong preference to AMD, not because of history or fanboyhood, but rather the power efficiency uh, touted in, in the previous generations. Now, I do like the computer, I do like the CPU, but my hesitancy uh, has always been around um, Intel's node, which at the current date is the 7 nanometer, which is an improved 10 nanometer node. And the, the, the gap they have still uh, towards TSMC and even Samsung in terms of node uh, size uh, does play a lot of uh, importance in terms of efficiency. So um, I've used it, uh, I, I quickly realized that it is a louder laptop, not, not by a huge margin, but the, the, the Intel CPUs does carry more heat and also have a tendency of uh, having the, the fans start sooner compared to AMD. Uh, so I, I've done some tests, I also power restricted it and I found that 35 watts of power for the Intel CPU is uh, quite sufficient to, to have good performance. But th this is a short summary just uh, to gather my thoughts as well as to try to, to provide you with some balance in terms of this discussion. If you're not looking for the maximum multi-threaded performance, if you're not going to run games at 720p uh, just to stress out the CPU, then you won't need 70 watts of CPU power, you won't even need 50 watts of CPU power. And then it comes to play, okay, which is the best performing CPU at, for example, 35 watts. And that is, for almost all tasks, more than sufficient, uh, which also enables you to give more power to the GPU if you're gaming, or just have a more quiet laptop. So, when looking at Cinebench R23 multi-core scores, we see that the previous years 6800HS still has the lead up until 30 watts of power. After 30 watts we see that Intel do get a growing lead and that's mainly due to their power scaling which still was better at least for the AMD 6000 series. So they are able to scale more and uh, they scaled up to 19,317 when I maxed out the laptop using a boost up to 115 watts. So in short, AMD is better at lower power levels. Intel is better at higher power levels. Now, which one is more important to you? That's an important question that you will need to answer for yourself. Personally, I seldom come across a situation where I need more than 35 watts of power. Hence, AMD is the right one for me. Now, we do have some comparison figures with the newer 7000 series as well, thanks to Golden Pig Upgrade, which unfortunately is a video not in English, but I will post it down in the comments, as well as an article from WCCF Tech, which has made a written summary about it as well. To begin with, R7 7735HS is comparable to 6800HS and the new Ryzen series is the 7840HS. And just looking at these numbers, early we want to see more of them, but uh, looking at these numbers we see that the 7840HS holds a substantial lead over both previous generation as well as Intel in all power levels ranging from 25 to 55 watts of power. So we can still see that Intel might be gaining a lead from uh, around 80 watts or something like that. But again, up to 55 watts, that's an excellent power level to, to just cap out the laptop at, depending on your usage. So the key takeaway from me looking at this chart, as well as my experience with the, the 13 series Intel, is that I truly hope that they deliver more power efficiency in the 14th generation of laptop CPUs because at this point AMD is still the, the crown holder. So from my perspective AMD wins in terms of having better power efficiency which leads to lower heat buildup and noise as well as having better battery life and it's no surprise because they are on a much smaller node which gives a lot of advantages. 
Intel is still the king in terms of raw performance at higher power levels. So if you're running very demanding multi-threaded work uh, or if you're gaming uh, with very low rate resolutions and having very powerful GPUs, if you're doing that then Intel might be what you require but apart from that AMD is likely your best choice in laptops. With that said, the Intel 13th gen uh, still worked great for me, especially when I power limited it to 35 watts of power or even 45 watts of power and the, the fans didn't come on as much. Intel has a major advantage in terms of the resources that they spend to, to helping laptop manufacturers to optimize and deliver their builds for the newest generation out to the market. AMD uh, is still lagging behind, uh, they have been delayed several times in terms of releasing the uh, 7840HS for example. So Intel is a much more professional company and I would hope that AMD uh, puts on their big boy pants uh, fairly soon. I've been waiting for that for the last three years, but here's the hoping. So availability for AMD it's much much worse and you, you won't be stepping on a landmine if you, you go with Intel. Uh, just know that if you have the option, especially the newer 7840 uh, generation, uh, go with that. And that's it for me. Hope it provided you with some insights and until next time, take care.